to reel it in a little bit when he's struggling or keep shooting or what? Oh, no, I tell him if he had stopped shooting bad shots, he wouldn't he'd shoot better. And uh, I think that when you're missing as many shots as he's missing, he's pressing. And he's, uh, we show him every game where he took uh, shots he shouldn't take, and that leads to him having a poor percentage. And uh, obviously, the more he does that, the more people are going to talk about it, and then it can, it can become a head game with you. But uh, if he would just, again, uh, and he has done a better job in the last two games, three games, rebounding the ball, trying to play better defense. If he would do that and now just let the offense come to him, uh, he'll, he'll shoot the ball well. And uh, we've shown him in, through our film session how when he, lets, he, when he does what he does well, that's uh, you know, playoff penetration, let guys uh, kick out to him. Uh, uh, you know, he'll, he, he'll make the majority of those shots. But just like the other day, he missed a layup, transition. Those are the ones that he has to make and needs to make. But uh, uh, that's what happens, I think, with guys that, uh, that are good shooters. They, they start pressing and they start taking shots, forcing shots, and then it kind of just snowballs on them. Coach Grant 